mirrors. They aren't just perfect to see how bad your hair day is, they can also be used to reflect light in various ways to create beautiful and unique shots. So here are 5 creative ways to light your subject with a mirror. Hey folks, it's Jordi here for Cinecom.net and welcome to the channel that is all about creative filmmaking with Premiere Pro and basic film equipment. With today's tips, it's all about mirrors. Not for looking at yourself, but how you can use them as a light source. With the first trick, we are going to use the sunlight to create a new light source, which we have more control over. When your subject is standing in the shadow on a bright day, they will look kinda flat. But we can use a simple mirror to reflect the sunlight and point it towards the talent. Because reflecting sunlight into a mirror is so bright, we don't have to worry too much about the distance. In this example, I've added backlight, which immediately creates more depth to your scene, and this with just one simple mirror. The second trick is a combination of the first one and blocking out the sun. Let's say the background is relevant to the story, but the sun shines right into your talent's face. Not only the talent will have to pinch his eyes together, but the lighting is also flat. We would rather have some backlight. So take a large piece of cardboard or whatever you can find to block or soften the sunlight. When the direct light of the sun is blocked, you can use a mirror on the opposite side of the talent to reflect the sun, creating backlight. The third trick requires some clouds. As we know, an overcast day makes very flat lighting. Normal reflectors don't always give enough illumination, so try to bounce the environmental light with a mirror. The light will be a lot harder and giving more output. Perfect as a key light, so bright up one side of the actor's face to create a more dynamic shot. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about tricks to film during an overcast day, just click on a card up there and that will bring you to another video. A beautiful scene at the lake and your actor is looking at his own reflection in the water. When showing his emotion, it could be a great idea to show the sunlight reflection from the water on his face. But it's not always that convenient, so here comes the fourth trick. We are going to use aluminum foil as the reflector. You can take a piece of it and wrinkle it up. This creates an uneven surface like water. Then you hold your foil underneath the actor to bounce the sunlight, creating that flickering reflection, while you gently move the foil around, which seems to come from the water now. Another tip with the aluminum foil is that there are two sides, a shiny one for hard reflection and a more diffused one if you want the reflection to be more subtle. And with the last trick, we are going to create some shadows, using the mirror as a kookalurus. And no, I didn't just invent the word, a kookalurus is a mask for creating shadows or silhouettes to produce a patterned illumination, usually placed after a light, like a color filter. The principles are quite simple, you block out what you want as a shadow. So for example, you want to create the look of someone standing in front of a window that has blinds. You can tape off your mirror with horizontal lights and use it to reflect your light source on the subject. The tape will not reflect the light and will cast the desired shadows, thus creating the feeling that the actor is standing behind a window with horizontal blinds. With this technique, every shape imaginable is possible. Something that is also used very often are leaves to create the shadow of a tree. I hope I didn't blind you too much with these shiny tips because we're putting out new creative videos every week. Just hit that subscribe button and join the light side of YouTube. Thanks for watching and stay creative.